lovely people. As always, I hope you're all doing really good. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Malin. And uh, today I want to do something that always brightens up in the darkness of this time of year that we have in Sweden, and that is to decorate for Christmas. And I had a lot of plans to prepare a lot of things for this video, but um, those plans didn't go quite to plan, which is quite typical for me uh, in this time of the year. Energy is a little bit low, but I'm hoping that we can raise the vibration today by putting a lot of lights out and doing some other cozy stuff. I would like to take you out to uh, the city of Malmö, show you where to have a really cozy warming lunch and then go get some bits that I need for some DIYs. And uh, also I'd like to bake a sort of Christmas spiced banana bread. Um, I had this idea where I don't know if it will work, but I thought we could try it together. And we'll see if I can cram all of this into today or possibly uh, I will see you tomorrow to uh, finish all this off as well. Either way, I think it's going to be super cozy and I'm happy to take you along through the day. Uh, but before we get started with that, I want to thank Nordgren for sponsoring this video. And Nordgren is a Danish watch and accessories brand and they create really beautiful and timeless pieces. And I think of their pieces as classic with a sort of modern twist. And I really like that they offer lots of different vegan strap options for their watches. This means that I can vary my Nordgren timepiece endlessly and get lots of wear out of it. And I think buying something of good quality that is customizable means that you'll use it forever and ever. And that is a really great sustainability mindset. I have tried almost all of their vegan strap options to date, and there really is something for everyone. They offer link straps, mesh ones, vegan leather straps in different colors, as well as nylon and rubber straps. I have landed on a brown vegan leather strap, as well as a silver three link strap for my philosopher this winter. And I really like the philosopher face because it looks really great, but it's also really easy to read the time of this particular face. I also think it suits pretty much anyone because it's quite robust, but not overly so. There are some newcomers at Nordgren as well as they recently launched their jewelry collections. And I'm wearing the Megara bracelet today, which is part of their line inspired by the ocean. It has a lovely drop shape design filled with mother of pearl, and it is made in part with recycled stainless steel like most of the collection. Nordgren uses sustainable materials to package their products as well. And something that I really appreciate about them is their giving back program, where they donate proceeds to NGOs working on different social and environmental protection programs. If you would like to check out Nordgren further, I'll leave a link to their website in the description box. And I'm happy to tell you that if you use my code, you can receive an extra 15% off all of their Black Friday offers at the moment. And all of the information for that will be in the description box as well. But now let's head out and go grab some yummy warming lunch at a Vietnamese place here in Malmö and then grab some stuff from the market so that we can do some fun DIYs. So our market quest was a bust. The florists that are usually there, there are usually two florists there. They weren't there. Our local florist was close to our corner shop where they usually sell foliage and other flowers. 
was also uh, it wasn't closed, but they didn't have a lot of things. And it's been snowing and like sleeting here for a couple of days. So I think that's why they were there. That means we have to hold off on the DIYs a little bit, which I thought I'd start with. But uh, when we got back, we decided to go upstairs instead and fetch the ornaments that we have so that we at least can get started with something today. And we're going to hang up our stars that you can light and we'll see what else is in this box that we can put out to begin. And yeah, I remember now we made these last year. Maybe you guys remember too, these paper stars. I have a couple of those that we can hang up and our stars are in here. Very Swedish thing to hang paper stars so we can hang those. And last year for Christmas, for my mom is a bit dusty, I got this beautiful little chime, um, chime with candles you'll see later i'll put it together for you so you can see it's really cute it's a very traditional thing here in sweden as well and we'll see maybe we can try the banana bread today as well hopefully but yeah things are a little upside down back to front i don't really know what's going on but we'll do what we can and uh, try to enjoy the festive nature of it anyway and the lunch was good. Um, we really liked that place for like a nice warming noodle soup. So I definitely recommend it. I'll link it down below in case you want to visit. But yes, let's empty this box and uh, hang up some cute things. steam a little bit yesterday after uh, hanging our stars it started to get dark so we saved the rest for today and I've just uh, put together some dried fruits that I made a couple of days ago that we can use in the DIYs today but I thought we'd start the day by making this spiced banana bread that I mentioned yesterday um, in anticipation for this video I found a recipe for something that I really like that we usually make uh, around advent for fika for uh, treats and it's a soft gingerbread we call it so it's like um it's usually like an abundant cake but i am going to make it in a banana bread version and that is because i am gluten intolerant and i tried a recipe from a website for this that was gluten free and vegan but i didn't really like the texture of it so it was quite dense uh, so I thought I would use my own banana bread recipe from the ebook from Comfort and just tweak it a little bit, add some spices and hopefully it will turn out a good-ish dupe of this uh, Christmas classic here in Sweden. And yeah, I'm just going to add some spices and uh, change up a couple of things, but I'll make sure to write all the ingredients um, for you in case you want to make it too. But yeah, let's just get started and let's do some morning baking.
it smells really great in here right now and the loaf looks just as it usually does when I make it without making the tweaks. So I think that it worked. And yeah, the smell is so good. It definitely brought a new level of Christmassy feeling in here. So if you want your house to smell really good, try this loaf. Uh, but I shall also later let you know how it is. But I want to let it cool a bit first before I cut into it. That's usually, um, well, you usually have better success at cutting without crumbling when you let it cool a bit. And uh, now I want to have a little redo of the market and the florist and uh, my DIYs. So I'm going to head down to the market and hopefully the florists are there today. But if they are not, we have better backup options. So come along and let's see if we can get some stuff for our DIYs. Finally, I found a florist that had something for me and uh, I got things that can dry nicely like I have eucalyptus and these flowers that are sort of burgundy purpley. I actually forgot to ask what they were called but they're very pretty and I bought one strand of this um, in, I don't know what it's called in English and Swedish the ilex or I guess ilex in English if I translate it and that I bought that because I thought if I have leftovers here I will put it in a nice vase and that could look quite nice together a bit Christmassy with the red berries but why I bought these uh, this nice foliage that can dry nicely is because I'm just gonna move this I want to decorate my own advent advent candle holder let's call it in English <laughs> because I got um, I saw these candles, they're actually made from rapeseed oil, which I thought was a great vegan oil to make uh, candles out of. They have this beautiful scalloped edge and um, I knew I had this at home, this wood wooden board with legs uh, that I got for photos and I thought this year I would DIY a nice advent candle holder out of this. I don't know if you do this in other countries, but here in Sweden on every advent Sunday we light one candle all the way up to the fourth Sunday of the fourth of advent or advent fourth, however you say it. So I got four candles, they fit nicely on my board and I'm going to decorate it with the foliage and also maybe some of these dried um, oranges and limes that I've made and I even dried some apple but these are a bit softer. Uh, if you want to make this at home, dry your own um, fruit <laughs> fruit for decoration, then I'll link below how to do that. Uh, so that's what I want to DIY now. But I also got one of these Christmas stars, at least that's what we call it here in Sweden, because this is one of my favorite things to have in the house during Christmas. I'm gonna put that in a pot later and place it out somewhere where I can see it. And I also got some whole nuts with the peel, no, the shell, the shell still on, because I think this is also a really lovely decoration. I'm not sure I will put it on the advent candle holder, but it just looks nice in a bowl. Of course you can eat them as well, but it just looks nice in a bowl around the house during the holidays. So those are the few things that I picked up. Let's uh, deck this little can holder up. Thank you. 
I would like to call those some very simple but effective DIYs. I saw some pictures of these kinds of candle holders made with the block candles and I must say I'm very happy with mine. I hope you like the result. And uh, yeah, like you saw, very simple. If you want to copy, go ahead. And if you take a picture, tag me. I'd love to see if you made one. And yeah, I used some of the used, used leftover eucalyptus just to wrap around a uh, a metal ring which I've used previous years for a wreath on the front door of our house and I think that was very cute too and it will smell nice as people enter the house and I even had some leftovers for my vase so now it's a full-on Christmas in here I'd like to say and I think it's time to try the banana bread have a little bit of fika and enjoy the results so let's go get it here and we actually went I'm just gonna sit down properly <laughs> we actually went to Leve also when we were out getting the foliage because I wanted to show you all the beautiful saffron buns that they're doing there now and I have a recipe for the basic dough on my website so I'll link that down below and what they've done here is that they've made it more like a cinnamon bun a braided cinnamon bun they've put almond mm, we say almond mass like an almond paste instead of the regular cinnamon and sugar and butter inside, which looks really good. Obviously, Rob's gonna be the taste tester of these. And they've also made this really cool bun, which is saffron with a blood orange jam and vanilla. And I so wish I could just eat all of these. <laughs> But they're for Rob and um, yeah, I just wanted to show them to you and let you know that if you want to make something like this, I have the basic dough on my website. But now it's the moment of truth. I'm going to taste this banana bread spice like gingerbread. And to be honest, it looks very good. It looks moist, but not dense, which is what I wanted. So let's see. It definitely worked. This experiment and it should because I didn't change that many things but I think it was wise to take out the peanut butter and use cashew butter instead because otherwise I think it would have overpowered the spices but I definitely re recommend you try this and uh, yeah I'll write the recipe in the description box as well so that you can and also what if you're wondering why I'm talking so much about saffron buns I realized I didn't say that it's because that's a very traditional Swedish treat this time of year something we eat on advent for our fika and yeah i wanted to include it uh, to share with you uh yeah this was a fun video a little haphazard i hope you've enjoyed uh getting ready for christmas with me a little bit at least and yeah i'm happy about the experiment i'm happy that my home now looks more christmasy and when you watch this it will be advent first so happy advent first to those of you who celebrate i will be posting more christmasy cozy videos coming up so stay tuned thank you all very much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care everyone bye